Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. Here are our endless LED strip lights. These are constant current strip lights. Well, what is, what is constant current? You probably have seen constant current around and wondered what it meant. When we're talking about traditional strip lights, it's weird to say traditional LED strip light, but we're at that point now. They are constant voltage, meaning they receive either 12 or 24 volt DC power. These, however, are constant current. So while we use them on 24 volts, we're actually controlling the current on the strip lights with a little IC. This allows us to actually run these strip lights much longer than we're, when we are simply using a constant voltage strip. So when we look at these, this strip right here actually has a run length of 98 feet. 98 feet is a fantastic option because you can hook this up and you can have one power supply feed 98 without having to inject power every 16 feet or 32 feet. It's really a great uh, time saver and energy saver to go with a product like this. This features all of the same things that you typically see on a strip light. That is, you have the peel and stick. This is 3M VHB tape. Uh, you can cut it. The cut lengths are quite short, just a little bit around two inches here. But again, the big feature of Endless is you can run out 98 feet without having to do any injection of power. Now, not only do we have the single color Endless at 98 feet, we also have a 32 foot RGB and RGBW solution. They come in 16.4 foot lengths but you could actually daisy chain this product. So if you compare this to other products on the market, they typically have a limit of 16.4 feet. This one you can actually double because of the fact that we're using this IC chip on each little section so you can just run out a lot further. This is really a time saver when you're doing a project because now you don't have to wire as many power supplies or controllers in. You can just daisy chain another one on. And when we say you can daisy chain, the limit that we always set is if you compare the end of the strip light that you're hooking up to the power supply to the other end of the strip light, they should look the same. If one is dimmer, then you have voltage drop. That's bad. This product is making it so that we can make the strip lights be longer. Now this hookup for this is exactly the same as it would be if you were using a constant voltage or a traditional strip light. Uh, for the single color, we do want to use PWM dimming for this or an electronic dimmer or electronic power supply and dimmer. For the RGB and the RGBW, these can be connected to a controller such as our Z-Series controller or the Kasami controller. They can also be controlled via DMX. Now, when you think about applications for these products, the limitations of traditional strip lights are really apparent when you're going to install around a perimeter of a room. Now let's talk about applications for this product. When you go to install strip lights in the perimeter of a room, doing lighting for an application like that, traditional strip lights, you have to put power supplies in multiple locations in the room. If you're using these products, you no longer have to do that you usually can get away with using just one of these reels, one power supply and controller to control the lights across the whole room. This is great for doing crown molding lighting or cloud lighting, any kind of lighting where you need to do long runs. Now this is rated for indoor use only. Another great application for this product would be to do an entire flight of stairs. When you think of how long a step usually is and you have multiple steps, if you could get that all on one power supply, this is the product that will allow you to do that. And you can do that with our single color option. And then you have your RGBW and your RGB option that allow you to do up to 32 feet. Thank you for learning all about our constant current endless LED strip lights. For more great lighting content, check out our YouTube channel and light up that subscribe button.